Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about mix-ins in Dart. Now let's take a look at the following classes. Let's say we've had class animal, class dolphin, class shark, bat, dove, and dog. And for class animal, we can have a void method that says breathe, because every single animal on the earth will need to breathe. And let's say we just print out something like breathing. Now I can go to class dolphin and I can say extends animal. And I want to do this because every animal, which includes a dolphin, a shark, a bat, a dove, and a dog, are able to breathe. Right, but now we know if we go to a dolphin, we know that a dolphin can also swim. So the dolphin class, we can add the swim method, and we can just print out swimming. Now, we can add this swim method also to animal, but not every single animal can swim. Like, for instance, if you throw a dove into the water, they will, the dove will have problems swimming, which means we cannot add the swim method into the animal class because not all of the animals can swim. But I do know that a shark can also swim, which means I can add that same swim method there. A bat cannot swim, a dove cannot swim, but maybe a dog can swim also. But I know for a bat and a dove, they can both fly. So I can have fly and we can print out flying. So I know a bat can fly and I know a dove can fly. But not all animals can fly. A dolphin cannot fly, a shark cannot fly, and a dog cannot fly. So now you can see if I look at all of these classes, all of them has got one thing in common. They can all breathe. And that's why I can have the breathe method as part of the animal class and say extends animal. Because now all of them will have the functionality of breathing. But I cannot add swim to the animal class if, for instance, the dove extends the animal because a dove will not be able to swim. So we can now see that we are using the swim method in more than one class. We are using the fly method in more than one class, which is never a good thing. And we will need to try and use or reuse our existing coding instead of duplicating the whole thing every single time. So what we can do is we can use something that's called a mix-in. And a mix-in provides a way of reusing a class's code in multiple class hierarchies. So for example, I can create a mix-in by using the mix-in keyword. And let's say we will start off with the swimming keyword there for the mix-in. And this mix-in will take the swim method for me. So I'm gonna remove it from the dog and use it there. But now, dog will not have access to the swim method unless it knows about swimming. So all I need to do then is at the end of the extends keyword and the animal class, I can say with swimming. And now all of a sudden, the dog is able to breathe and the dog is also able to use the swim method. So if I do the following, let's say var dog equals dog. I can say dog dot and you can see I've got access to breathe method at the top because it extends animal and I've got access to the swim method because it uses the mixin called swimming. Now everywhere I'm trying to use the swim method now I can actually remove it and just say with swimming and save. So which means that shark will also be able to breathe as well as swim. Now let's do the same thing again. Let's create a mix-in for flying, and we'll have the fly method there. So I'm going to cut it there, paste it there, and for the bat I will just say with flying, and save it. And now the bat will be able to breathe as well as fly, but the dove also. So I will say with flying, and I can remove that method that's redundant now because I've got access to it. And then at the dolphin level also there, you can see we've still got the swim method in there. So we can also just say with swimming. And now if I look at my classes now, it's a lot smaller actually now, not containing anything. But all of these classes, dolphin, shark, bat, dove, dog, will have access to the breathe method. And then they will also have access to whatever mixin I'm applying to it. So mixins are a way of reusing a class's code in multiple class hierarchies. So if I had, for example, the swim method in both dolphin and in shark, and I wanted to change something in the swim method, 
I had to go and change it both in Dolphin as well as in Shark. Now I can only go and change it there and I can let's say, go and say busy swimming. And now just changing it like that will change it for every single one of them that's using the swimming mixin. So again, they provide a way of reusing a class's code in multiple class hierarchies. Now one thing about a mixin, I cannot for example go and say swimming equals swimming and if you hover over it you will see that mixins can't be instantiated which means just like abstract classes and interfaces you cannot create an object of a mixin but you can use the mixins with the with keyword and then applying it to a specific class which means that class will have access to the members inside of your mixin hope you've learned something from this video see you in the next one